oh, men could do it too. Women has been oppressed for over centuries, 50 years, 60 years. Women has never gotten the end of the bargain. Women has never been able to get as much as men. That's a lie. We all know in this country in America and in many other countries and civilizations, women are highly worshipped. And they are very appreciated when it comes down to sex. And it could also be many cases of having kids, being a, a companion, a wife, a girlfriend, a spouse, a partner, lifetime partner to be exact. But when women who use this female empowerment to excuse thoughtery or thought whorish behavior, they got another thing coming. You know the stove is hot, yet the fire is still lighting up. Why do you keep putting your hand on the stove if you know you're going to continue to get burnt? This is why I say there's a lot of delusional women that are leading themselves to failure. You have a choice to listen to Cardi B, to look up to a lot of female celebrities who are promoting a, a, a thought culture. They're promoting whores, women to easily be influenced by it. But then at the same time, artists like Cardi B, Megan D. Stallion, Bar uh, Barbie Baby Doll, all these female horse rappers, singers that are twerking it up. They don't care because they're making their money. They got somebody. There was someone who was rich or in most cases, some of them are single and they're just being a pass around. Then they get mad when they're treated a certain way. Same for women in the real world. How come this guy don't take me seriously? How come this guy stopped texting me? What do you think? What did you do that caused him to just leave? Not want to deal with you. Because most men is not going to take women like that seriously who's giving it up. Women who is a bus stop, right? Many men are not going to stay because they don't want to deal with the drama. They already know that if they got in a relationship with this girl, most cases, most cases, who else is she going to be sleeping with immediately or automatically? If she did this to me, then how many other men did she did this to? Now, regardless, everyone has a past, right? But if you're going to continue to promote that on the media, what stays online and on the media stays online forever. This is why I recommend people keep their lives private. Keep your sex life, your love life, all of that private. Don't let everyone in the world know about your business. Because once you do, many people could use that against you. That's why you have to be very, very, very careful on what could resurface online. But many people does not want to understand it. Or maybe they know that, they know that for themselves they just choose not to care or not to do it. So when they get burned badly, it has to take something that'll impact their lives harshly. That'll make them understand that this is the real world. This is reality. Or maybe they're just living in the moment. And tomorrow, when they're at 40, 50 years old, they don't want to be a thought no more. They want to be taken seriously. But the reputation is done. The damage is done. A lot of women don't know that physically and mentally, this thought culture of what they're getting themselves into in the wrong situations where even unwanted pregnancies could happen, they are not going to think or care. A lot of parents are good parents for a reason. There are parents who tries their best to be there for their kids and be in their children's lives. We have a lot of this. Yet, many people 
in this generation are lost. Many people in this generation are very, very sadly lost. They don't need anyone to save them if they're not asking to be saved. This is why people should understand the line. You can't save these hoes. You can't save these thoughts. They don't deserve it. They don't need saving. You can't save her. Some guys are so stupid to be Captain Save a Whore instead of saving themselves. Many men should be happy they don't have to deal with women like that in a serious level when it comes down to an actual relationship because they realize there's no value. Cardi B said from one of her songs, she doesn't know how to cook or clean, but at least she got the ring. The ring telling you what a woman has to offer sexually. You already should know where that goes, fellas. Where is that going to lead a woman in actual reality? If something like this is promoted to a lot of young women who are in their teens, young as 12, 10 years old, growing up in this promiscuous generation and all they see is this, but then the, the, the guidance of a father and a good mother is not available in the home. There could be both parents in the home or in the household, right? But the, the dad could be a druggie. The mom could be a, a crack cocaine addict. There won't, there's no purpose of both parents just being there, just to be there. But then they're not teaching your child anything about life, how to protect themselves, how to value themselves, how to respect themselves. All these things are thrown out the window in 2020. Yet people are complaining and don't understand why things is not changing. People are going to still do what they want to do. You're going to reap the consequences if you continue to keep putting your hands on the stove and you're going you're to expect not to get burnt when you're going to get burnt. The more you do it, the more you have the fire on high, the more you're allowing yourself to get burnt. Some people actually enjoy pain. There's people who actually enjoy being miserable being in pain, because if that's the only thing they know how to do, they use that as a controlling mechanism to get attention. And mainly, a lot of women in today's culture, a lot of young girls do this type of stuff. They promote pain. And this also equals to sex. All these things are dark vanity. It's full of darkness. It's, it's disruptive to... What makes things right? It disrupts the mind, the body, and, and, and the flow of order. Order was implemented in the home the way God had wanted to be. But since that's no longer being promoted, then there's a lot of lost people. People don't know what they want to do with themselves. They don't, they're trying to still figure life out. And it's expected. I've expected this future. I've accepted it. I learned to live with it. But all I know, I'm living the best life that I want to live. I'm going to be that responsible father, be that responsible man, take care of my kids, family. You have a good thing out there, fellas. Keep her. Because you see how many people say it's hard to find a good woman or a good man. Most cases, it's true. There's some people that could claim that they're a good man or a good woman, but they have a lot of bad traits and bad qualities. They could be complainers. They could have anger problems. What makes a good man or a good woman? What makes a good person? Self-respect. Showing value. Some people would deal with a woman's personality if she was born or not. Then you could teach them a few things if they're willingly open to, to learn a lot of things that you learn. Are you going to also respect yourself in the process? Because we all know there's men who cheats, men who sleeps around, who has no respect for themselves either. How can a woman respect you when you also don't respect yourself? What is she going to expect? 
whenever you meet a good woman, some people would be so shocked to know that this woman slept with less than three men or she only had one boyfriend in her whole, her whole entire life and she only slept with one guy or she's a virgin. People will be so shocked because they're not used to that. So they'll belittle her as she's younger, but as she gets older, people will treasure someone that is on that level. But then in today's society, if a man is a virgin, most people would think the exact same way. But then they expect a man to not be a virgin. There's nothing wrong with having respect for yourself. Society is so blinded, so lost that they forgot what the value means for having respect. Having respect for your body, yourself, your mind, your soul. Why do you want it to be disrupted? Why do you want millions and millions and millions of people to know your body? You're in the values. If you let the world in your own relationship, the own world will be the same reason your relationships will be destroyed. Jada Picnic and Will Smith is a perfect example. Many celebrities go through this. It's supposed to be a private companionship for a reason. That's why I value privacy. It's why I don't let all my business out there because I already know the world could use that against me. And they'll disrupt my, my uh, relationships with my friends, wife, whoever. You don't let the world in, in your business. You have respect and value for yourself. Other people will respect you. It doesn't matter if you're a virgin out there or not. Hold that virginity for the right person that actually deserves to be with you. Because short-term commitments and being a bus stop, same for guys that knows that they're being used by women for sex. Then they feel empty, lost, and hopeless. Is because there was no value there. It was nothing worth to stay for, to keep, to treasure, to hold on to. Many people in society forgets that. They forget how to value themselves and have self-respect. Then they wonder why people treat them like crap. They're not gonna tell you to they're not gonna tell it to your face. They'll show you how much they come and leave. And you won't hear from them ever again. Is this the type of life that you want your children to live? Or even you? This is the thought culture of today. I'd rather not be part of it. I don't want my kids to ha be nothing, have nothing to do with it. And whoever wants to do this or not, go ahead, follow the world. Because God said in the Bible, do not follow the world. And it was for a reason. The wages of, of sin is death. This is why STDs exist. Yet people don't understand why they're going through problems. Especially when they allow those problems to come into existence on the situations that they put themselves in. Everyone has a choice. You can make a mistake. And there's times and times again we all learn by making the mistakes that we make. But change is something that has little time. This life has no meaning if you think that there is no meaning to life or yourself. Value yourself, guys. This is Woken Up here. Peace out. Let me know what you think.